this is one of the crank bearings, um, main bearings, whatever you want to call them. Uh, this is after I've cleaned it up with some, um, was it, isopropyl alcohol, and then got a Scotch Bright What's It pad on it and cleaned it all up, and that's the best I can get it. Now, after I've hacked around with a file, and God knows what else, this is how they actually come out. It's a hell of a lot better. Uh, it takes a lot of doing to get these right actually. What I generally do is get some wet and dry and go across it with it wet. Uh, things like the, the bolts, screw, focus you. The bolts, screws or whatever, I'll get them in a drill and get a file on them and just round them off and repurpose them. Because it's authentic, that's how it was built. These have come up quite nice, I've still got a bit of work to do on them. Uh, that's got to be, I've got to lap that, or reface it, or whatever. Uh, it's not brilliant, as you can see. But that, uh, your steam valve, or your main valve, that works perfectly. It's absolutely airtight in there. So I've done that. Um, I've lapped the, uh, the valve inlet, outlet, what's it, and exhaust ports and everything. They're all completely flat now. They were quite bad, so I don't know how it was actually running properly. Bit of pitting on there, but hey-ho. So that's done. The ends are done. That's all cleaned up. The only thing I don't know about is these. I don't know what these are for. Uh, all there was was a screw in them. But I don't know what they were for, and I don't know why there's two sets of valve what's-it things when only one's used, the other one's... Well, as far as I can remember, it's just bolted down. I think. I think it was just bolted to the plate, so it wasn't even open. I presume that's the uh, the connecting rod guide thing, which all I've done is just cleaned it up. I need to file these. They're not perfect. I like perfect. So that's done, nearly. Uh, the concentric, that doesn't look too bad. I don't want to flat that off because there's a bit of wear on there, but I don't want to flat it off anymore in case it, it induces lateral movement. But that's that's okay. The only bit is the, there's just a bit of rust there that I can't get rid of. The conrod itself, apart from that rust there, He's perfect. It's come up really, really well. Uh, the piston I haven't done yet because I don't know what this stuff is. I know it's it's the piston ring or the seal, the piston seal, whatever you want to call them. But I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's just cotton. Do I replace it with cotton? What do I replace it with? But I don't really want to touch that yet. There's two of these that go on here. One goes on there and then you've got that one there. When I don't know what that one was connected to. Is that an oil pump thing or I, I don't know what that thing is. Which is this. What is it? Because it wasn't connected to anything. It was literally freestanding and there's a piston that goes in there. But the piston... Um, the bore on this isn't long enough to house the piston so I don't know what it's for, is it needed? because if not I ain't putting it in obviously the cylinder ends the end caps, they're done nearly, I've still got a final clean them um, gasket material for those I've still got to get but I'm going to move on to this after I've done that uh, that last bearing, that main bearing I'm going to move on to that and then well on my way won't be long now this is graphite yarn and it's used for making steam tight or airtight seals with things like the piston has to be sealed so there's graphite yarn which I've, I've actually sandwiched in there you tighten it up until it's lovely 
Now the piston ring itself, I don't know if I showed you, but it was actually, it was like a thread. I don't exactly know what it was, but I've taken it off because it wasn't a very tight seal at all. So I've actually used graphite yarn again on the piston ring. Now, if I cover that, and that's as smooth as anything down there now. The only thing I'm a bit concerned about is the valve itself. Uh, this shaft doesn't seem it's quite pitted. And also this ceiling screw or whatever it is is a bit not centric. Not centric? Not central. This piece of, uh, I think it's a piece of stainless, uh, it goes on the top there. Like that. And then the, the valve, which I don't know what it's for, why it's there, that actually screws into there. I really don't know. Is that an oil? It's probably an oil import, isn't it? It must be an oil port. Anyway, I'm waiting for a piece of this to come in so I can make a new one because I really don't like that. That's a bit of a mess. So, I can't really assemble much more until that comes in. Uh, the exhaust port, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I don't know whether to leave it open. It's going to be on the bottom. No, it isn't. It's going to be on the top. I'm going to have to do something with the exhaust port because the last thing I want is steam pissing out everywhere, spraying in my face. That won't be very good, will it, Tony? I've got to paint the base, but I don't know what to do it with. But the only th the only trouble is it's so impregnated now. I've got to tidy it up still more. But it's so impregnated with everything. And it stinks of oil, so... But I don't know what the hell was on it. But I want to keep it because it's authentic. This is the original piece of work. And I know people are going to say, mate, you know, make another one, but I don't want to, because this is the original part of it. And that's the whole idea, is restoring it rather than rebuilding it. This might seem like a, a very small thing, but it's a very, very big thing for me, because I've achieved something. Uh, this is the whistle that goes on my tank. Um, and in the top of it was this piece of, I think it's steel or tin, I don't know. And over the years it's just corroded very badly and it's just falling apart. I made my own. Got a piece of pipe. Chopped a piece off. That much. Then cut a slot in it, flattened it out, rounded it all off. Jammed it in there very, very tightly and I've silver soldered it. That's the first bit of silver soldering, soldering I've ever done. I'm proud of that. <laughs> Little things, you know. I've still got a lot of cleaning up to do, but I'm proud of that. <laughs>